John, today we're at LBBC Beechwood. It's quite an interesting application, this one. We're looking to deburr a tube, essentially, which has a number of challenges. Well, we're here with a Hoyley tool again. Just like I said, Hoyley are celebrating their 60th uh, anniversary, so obviously a well-established company with uh, subsidiaries all over the world. Uh, but yeah, we've got the Kofa tool, which we've used today. This is uh, a deburring tool for uneven uh, castings, concave convex as per the, the, the tool that we've done today. Uh, this, this blade sort of pivots rather than the snap tool which retracts radially and that allows it to form the actual contour of the actual part that you're trying to deburr. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it does exactly that, it, it follows any form. And believe it or not these start as small as two millimetre. They do yeah, they start at two millimetre and then they can go up to various sizes and a bit like the snap tool, this comes as a cartridge as well, so you can then manufacture your own holder for the cartridge so you can do really large mm -hmm. bores with it as well. So we're looking at tubing today, but what's a typical application? Uh, tube is a very popular application for it, because so obviously you can't get down the inside to deburr it, or it's a longer process. Um, obviously you've got the risk then of, if you're going in manually, of uh, you know cutting yourself and whatever else. So, these tools, again, are perfect for, from a health and safety point of view because they deburr the inside of the tube. Nobody's got to put their fingers in anywhere where there's sharp burrs mm -hmm. that they might get caught on. And on the other end of the spectrum, if we look in the, the black box here, we go in what I would call as micro tooling, two millimetres and below? Yeah, so this is a new tool from Hoyley. It was de developed alongside some watchmakers, obviously a lot of Swiss watchmakers, uh, for the pin for the actual winding mechanism. Um, and this sort of completes their micro range. So the standard tools go down to two milli anyway, and then the DL2 now goes from 2.1 down to one milli uh, with, a, with a unique blade uh, that's also the spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, when you look at the engineering that goes into this, it's incredible. But again, you can use this on rough surfaces, even at that small diameter. Yeah, you can use it on, on slightly rough surfaces and some uneven, but only, only slightly on these. It's uh, obviously because of the size of the tool, the micro tooling. Mm -hmm. So, but obviously a watch bezel is, is concave and it, does, it was designed to actually deburr that type of hole. And just finally, the, the obvious one for me, why should we deburr on the machine against off the machine? It's just eliminating the process, health and safety, time saving. It's you no, know, just if it's done on the machine, comes off the machine, it's done, it's ready to go. And all this supplied and fully supported from you guys at DC Swiss? It is, yeah, entirely, yeah.